So this is uh, the Crutchfield Marketing Department uh, installing what is, for some of us, our first car stereo. We figured it was uh, good for us all to actually try that. Uh, we're working uh, with one of our uh, one of our employees' Jeeps here, so with any luck, we won't screw it up for them. Uh, we feel pretty good. We've got our, our master sheets, and uh, we've got a few people around here to help us out if we get stuck. So, so far, so good. Uh, it's been pretty easy. I think a Jeep's a pretty nice, easy vehicle to get into. Um, so far, we've taken off the dash. We pulled out the old stereo. Uh, we're also at the point now we're actually doing the connections, crimping wires, getting everything connected on the back end. So these sheets really do help. <laughs> they're they're there for a reason. And so uh, there's a lot of qualified people in this building to put a uh, stereo in, and we're probably the least qualified, and we're doing well. So it's a good start. It's pretty simple. I thought it was going to be a lot more complicated, especially hooking up all the wires, but yeah. And everything looks good. We just hooked the battery back up, uh, tested the radio out. Sounded great. So yeah. now we've unhooked it and now oh, we're going to yeah, install some speakers. Uh, yeah. well, I think everybody had a good time. Everything went in uh, went in pretty smoothly. No extra screws, uh, nothing like that. So I'd say if, if we can do it and have a good time, pretty much anybody can. Uh, couldn't have done it without the master sheets. That ended up being very helpful. It's good to see exactly what a customer would be seeing. Um, we followed those just like anyone would getting it out of the box and it ended up going uh, going well for us. Overall really good experience, we'd definitely do it again. We're, uh, we're already talking about coming back to add a powered sub, so I think that's the next project for marketing.